Hello, you're watching Central Investing TV. Fund managers are the rock stars of the investment world. They command huge salaries and their names are all over the financial media. But do they really deserve their stellar status? Well, new research suggests that 99% of them don't. Researchers at the Pensions Institute, based at Cass Business School in London, examined 516 UK equity funds between 1998 and 2008 and found that just 1% of managers were able to return more than the trading and operating costs they incurred. But even those managers pocketed for themselves any value they added in fees, leaving nothing for the investor. All the other managers failed to deliver any outperformance, either from stock selection or market timing. Now, as we've said before, the evidence suggests that luck often plays a bigger part in investment returns than skill. So let's be charitable. Perhaps the remaining 99% of managers were simply unlucky. Well, the study was conducted using a statistical technique called bootstrapping, which allowed the researchers to isolate returns which a manager could only have achieved by luck. Their conclusion was that the vast majority of managers weren't just unlucky, they were genuinely unskilled. So there are real stars out there, but they represent only a tiny fraction of fund managers. The challenge, of course, is working out who the top performers are going to be over, say, the next 10 or 20 years. Star managers are, to quote the report, incredibly hard to identify. Furthermore, it takes 22 years of performance data to be 90% sure that a particular manager's outperformance is genuinely down to skill. For most investors, the report concludes, it's simply not worth paying the vast majority of fund managers to actively manage their assets. This report clearly makes very uncomfortable reading for the fund management industry. It's awkward too for most financial advisors who built their businesses around the idea that successful investing is all about picking the right manager. The good news, though, is that you don't need to pay over the odds for an active manager who will most likely fail to outperform anyway. On the new Sense of Investing website, you'll find a host of video and other content all about passive and evidence-based investing, which is very much cheaper and far better for the average investor. You can also download the Pensions Institute report we've just been talking about from the reports and downloads section. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank you.